Hello everybody, today in this video I'm going to teach you how to make a projectile launcher gun and this is going to be a CV2 tutorial but if you don't have any CV2 knowledge please don't worry. I'm keeping this extremely simple, literally all you need is just a clamp, a trigger handle, and a projectile launcher. The end result will be something like this. So you see whenever I press this trigger it shoots out a cork. Uh, and additionally uh, after we actually make the actual invention we will then go over how to configure the projectile launcher so that you can change the different types of projectiles the color of the projectiles and you can even do like spreads so you can do like a shotgun and uh, yeah I'm hoping that this helps some of you out so let's get right into the video all right, we're only going to need three items for this entire creation, so I'm hoping it will be very easy, even if you don't have any CV2 knowledge. So first things first, we're going to pull out our maker pen. We can do this by going into our watch, going into backpack, and clicking use on the maker pen. We'll then grab our maker pen, and we'll go to palette right here, and then we'll go into our search bar. If you don't see the search bar right here, you need to click this button right here. And then we'll click into our search bar and type in trigger. And you should see a trigger handle pop up right there. It's the first thing that should pop up. I'll then place this trigger handle right about here on the ground. Next, I'll search up a clamp. I'll put that to the side. Then I'll search up a projectile launcher. Project. There we go. And you want to make sure this is facing the same way as your trigger handle. And you can place this wherever you want the projectiles to come off uh, in relativity to the trigger handle. So if you're holding it, they should come off just slightly in front, which is what we want. Um, I'm going to hold my maker pen in one hand. And then with my other hand, press the trigger on this board. And that lets me drag it out of the way so we can see better. Now, what we are going to do first is our wiring. So we want to go to our tools menu and click on wire. We then want to wire primary action pressed to fire forward. Now we want to do the clamping. You want to clamp the trigger handle to the base of the clamp. Then the part on the top, this little golden part, to the projectile launcher. Now when I draw my maker pen, it's going to fall over most likely. Oh, it actually didn't this time. I guess I've got it perfectly set up. Uh, if yours falls over, it may make it slightly hard to work with, um, but it looks like ours is still up. So if that happens to you, you may need to freeze it, but it looks like we're good. So now if I grab this trigger handle, it should already work. I'm going to fire this just by pressing the trigger. It's going to be a little loud. <laughs> And yeah, we pretty much already have a working gun with the projectile launcher. So that's pretty much it. If you want to, you can go ahead and stop the tutorial there. But for those of you that want to customize it a little bit more, stick around and I'll show you how to do that. Now, there are a couple different things that you can configure with your projectile launcher. You can configure it by going into your tools palette and clicking on the configure tool, then configuring the projectile launcher. You'll then want to go into your palette, and you'll see there's a couple different things we can customize. I've went ahead and customized some stuff, but I'll walk you through each setting. First, we have the type. This can be a cork or a laser, so you can change the type of projectile that comes from the projectile launcher. I did a paintball because I like paintballs. Next, we have the color. I'm going to do, how about a green, green paintball. So that's the uh, color of the projectile that comes out. Now we have the count. The count is the amount of paintballs that come out of the projectile launcher each time that it is fired. So this would only be noticeable if you have a spread. So I'll show you the spread later. We're going to put that to four. I'm going to put that to four just because I, I want to make like a shotgun out of it. So I'll show you how to do that if that's what you want too. Next, we have the speed. This is the speed of the projectiles that come out. I'm going to make mine slower because I think it's cool when they're like really slow. Next, we have lifetime. This is how long the bullets will stay in the world until they disappear. So I'm going to put this to max. If you have a ton of projectiles in your world, you can run into some heat issues. But if you're only making one, it's fine to put the lifetime to max. Now we have the spread. 
This is how far in a radius the projectiles will go from the projectile launcher. So if we have the spread to zero, it will go straight out of the projectile launcher. But if I turn it up just a little bit, it'll be more of a spread shotgun type. Now we have gravity enabled. If we turn this on, the bullets will fly out of the projectile launcher and then eventually gravity will pull them down to the ground. I'm going to leave this off for now. Now, most of these other settings aren't very important. We have damage. This can be used to actually make your projectiles do damage with games, but I won't go over this in my video. Now we have sound enabled. This is if you want there to be a sound when the projectile launcher is fired. Because I'm making a tutorial, I'm going to turn this off. I don't want a bunch of loud sounds over my voice. In fact, I'm going to configure the trigger handle and also turn the sound effect off on this trigger handle. Now you'll see if we grab this and fire, we have really slow green paintballs. Our count was set to four, so four shoot every time. And also there's a spread. I'm going to stop showing gadgets so that it's just a trigger handle. And yeah, we've pretty much made a shotgun already with CV2 with the projectile launcher, a clamp and a trigger volume. So yeah, we've pretty much made a working projectile launcher gun with just three items. Now, if you want like a skin on this, so it actually looks like you have a gun, um, I'll show you how you can do that. You can go set your trigger handle down. I'm going to have to move it because it's going to fall over. There we go. And if you want to do that, let's just say, um, just for an example, I'm going to get a cube. And I'm just going to manipulate that cube a little bit. Just as an example, you'd want to move that where you want it on the trigger handle. And then wire it to the golden part at the top. And additionally, you would want to configure this and put it to, instead of environment, you'd want to put it to decoration because we don't want the projectiles to actually hit this cube right here because then nothing will shoot out. But now you'll see if I go to my tools and I turn off show components, now we have kind of a skin on our gun. Pretty cool. All right, well, that concludes this tutorial. I really hope that I helped you learn something and that I didn't overcomplicate things. And as always, I will see you guys in the next tutorial. See ya.